Hello, SPA family. My name is Rachel Lopez. I am the director of instrumental music here at SPA. Um, this is my first year here, um, and I want to welcome you to, well, I want to say hello first, and then I also want to um, welcome you to the back to school night. Um, it's a little different this year, so um, I am going to uh, share my screen here. Um, so that way uh, I can go through a presentation with you. So your students may have seen a little bit of this um, already because I talked a little bit about this um, for the first day um, when we had that first day there. So this is um, about our instrumental department. So I have an instrumental department website, which I have included on all of the Google Classrooms. Um, your student should be a part of one of my Google Classrooms for school, and I have included the website link on there, um, but I do have an instrumental department website, just kind of um, has a little bit of information about each class, and um, it'll eventually have concert dates and things on that as uh, things coming up as well. Just a little bit about me. Um, I grew up in Missouri. I grew up in Independence, Missouri, which is on that map there. Um, that's kind of where I was born and raised and where I ended up working for the past six years. Um, I have my undergraduate through Northwest Missouri State University and my master's through um, the University of Missouri, Kansas City. Um, just a little bit about me. I have some pets at home. Uh, those are my two dogs. Um, my husband and I, that's my husband, Manuel. Um, we like to travel um, a lot It's part of the Redwood Forest. Um, that's just a little bit about me. I know I went through that quickly, but um, yeah. So there's, there's lots of things about me and you can always feel free to ask. Um, I'm pretty open about it. Okay, so I wanna get through um, our, our information regarding the classes and kind of how everything's situated. So um, this is our scholar credo. Um, I humble myself before entering each space with the mind of the beginner. I believe that talent is not a substitute for training. I understand that disappointment and discomfort can lead towards mastery and self-discovery, and I commit myself to the creation of meaningful shared experiences, and I am always auditioning. So this is our credo, meaning that we want to keep this in mind in every space that we enter, every class that we're a part of, that these are the things that we always keep in the, in the forefront of our mind. Um, this is our department vision. So the instrumental music department at SPA aims to prepare students for pre-professional conservatory level training in the following ways. Students will receive rigorous globally focused curriculum that includes coursework in theory, music history, and performance. Students will become well-rounded artist scholars who understand instrumental technique, theory, and ensemble methodology. Regardless of a student's area of study, after our program, students will be able to hopefully enter the workforce at a competitive level or prepare for admission into a prestigious music school, um, music program for the collegiate level. Um, here's our department tenants. Um, you should fight to be a well-rounded artist, scholar, and student. We're never done learning and that the best education is re received by those who work to obtain it. We're always working as an ensemble, um, and this is true throughout our lives and we should strive to be an active and productive member of the team. This means being empathetic, courteous, punctual, hardworking, and committed to active investigation. We can always learn more from one another than we can alone, and we should be open to being both the teacher and the student at all times. That's true for myself and for the students as well. Okay, here are the, the courses that we offer. Um, that we offer here at SPA. So the beginning course is Intro to Instrumental Music. Then we have um, Jazz Band, which will eventually be called Symphonic Band, Chamber Orchestra, which will keep its name, Contemporary Combos, Chamber Ensemble, and Secondary Instruments. So um, I'm gonna talk about a little bit about each one. Um, this is Intro to Instrumental Music. This is the course that students start out with in sixth and seventh grade. This just gives a little bit of a description. I have the course syllabus on both the Google Classroom and the website. So if you need to, to view um, what exactly is on the course syllabus, it is located there. Um, but we wanna 
We're going to learn how to read music, techniques for the specific instruments, how instruments are similar and different, um, music theory. And music theory is online. So I have the students using U Theory where they sign up for my class. And they have lessons each week that they do, um, that they do online. It's videos um, that they watch and they learn different techniques. And then we incorporate those techniques in the classroom as well. Um, here are a few important things. And I might stay on this screen for a good amount of time just so you have time to read this. So these are needs for sixth and seventh grade intro to music class. Instrument needs specifically. We'll talk about books and things like that in the next slide. So at the top I have the percussionist. So I know I have students who um, who perform primarily on drum set. As um, a member of the spa family, we as musicians are going to be well-rounded. So our drum set players are going to be considered percussionists, um, which means not only drum set, but also mallet percussion. So as part of the drum set, they have a snare drum that they can use. Uh, in addition to that, uh, they will need a mallet percussion instrument as well. A glockenspiel or bell kit is your cheapest option, but a xylophone is also um, decently inexpensive. But some sort of some sort of mallet percussion so we can begin working on not only our our percussion drum skills but also our our keyboard instrument skills too. Flute should have cleaning or polishing cloth or both excuse me they should have both a cleaning cloth and a polishing cloth. Um, their tuning rod should come with their case but make sure that you have one. Clarinet and saxophones should have at least three reeds. I buy a box at a time because it ends up saving a couple bucks, a couple dollars um, in the long run. Um, the reason we have three reeds is so we can rotate. Reeds, if you play on one reed for a really long time, it weakens quicker and therefore doesn't last as long. So we rot will rotate reeds as we play them. And I'll explain to them how we do that. But we need to have at least three reeds in case one breaks or one's worn out and they're really particular with temperature as well. So um, at least three reeds, cleaning cloth to clean their instrument um, or the cleaning, cleaning rods, the, the fuzzy cleaning rods for saxophones and cork grease. Trumpets need to have valve oil. Um, same for like trombone would need slide grease. So violin and viola, rosin, they need to have a chin rest shallow and upright bass, rosin and an end pin stop. So that means a stopper for their end pin so it doesn't slide around. Guitar and bass guitar, if it's electric, they need an amp. And piano, if it's electric, it needs a sustain pedal. Um, but those are the only things they should need for those instruments. And please feel free to email me if I left an instrument off. I don't think I did. But if I did, um, you can always email me and I will gladly uh, talk with you about that. Okay, music needs, aka books and other things. So at the very top, I talk about a tuner. Back in the day, you used to have to go and purchase a physical tuner, but now we have apps on our phones and things like that. So you can get an app on your phone that's for free. That is a tuning app. Um, for example, INS Tuner is the one that I use. There are tuners that cost that are a little bit better, but there are free versions that do a good job as well. So some sort of tuner um, that will keep, that the kids can kind of look at to keep, um, keep in tune. Books. So this was the, the question um, for everyone for books. Everyone except for piano and six string guitar, meaning acoustic or electric six string, should purchase the Measures of Success book one. So everybody except those two instruments needs to purchase the Measures of Success book one. For string instruments, the color of the top of the, the book is brown. For, um, for band instruments, they are blue. So um, they're both called Measures of Success Book 1 for their specific instrument, but the colors vary depending on, on which instrument they play. Piano. Beginning piano students, meaning students who haven't played before, should purchase the Alfred's Basic All-in-One Course Book 1. I can include the links to these also in an email. Um, and guitar, 
Guitar Method Book One, the second edition by Hal Leonard, is what they should purchase. If they are a bass guitar player, they can purchase Measures of Success. But if they are an acoustic or electric six string guitar, they need to purchase the Guitar Method Book. Okay, the second course is Jazz Band. Jazz Band and Chamber Orchestra. Um, this is also known as Symphonic Band One and Chamber Orchestra One. So the things we're learning here is some intermediate music theory. Again, we also utilize U theory in these courses as well. So they have online theory work that they should be working on almost every day. And they have assignments due every Friday. Um, techniques for their specific instruments. We do individual lessons and we do that towards the end of the week. We work on music history and we also talk about other ensemble techniques. Chamber orchestra, again, is like essentially the same as just for string instrument techniques. So we work on the same things, individual lessons, music history, string techniques, and music theory. Again, music theory, we use utheory.org uh, um, for students and they should all be signed up for the classes now and have been working on them. They should work on them almost daily and have their assignments done for that. Contemporary combos. Contemporary combos is an intermediate um, and advanced music theory course um, where we kind of meet in small ensembles. So um, right now in contemporary combos, we are working on creating a, uh, or writing um, music composition, excuse me. We are um, composing music in small groups together collaboratively. Um, What's kind of cool is the kids have to, the students have to figure out based on their instrumentation, what key they're gonna play in and um, how they're gonna have, who's gonna have the melody and how they're gonna figure out chord progression and things like that. So it's a really interesting, fun project we're beginning to work on in contemporary combos class. Chamber ensemble. Um, this is essentially symphonic band and orchestra together to combine for a full orchestra. And this will come a little bit later. And secondary instruments. Secondary instruments is a, a course with um, for advanced students who have exceeded their primary instruments and um, are looking for a new challenge. So in secondary instruments, we are looking at theory as it relates to the new instrument. So transpositions, new clefts, um, instrument techniques, um, and we're, we're focusing on, on masterclass work. So we're going to have, and we also have individual lessons where we meet with the students one-on-one -on -one and we kind of go over, okay, how's it going? Um, and we listen to them play. So that's a little bit about the instrumental department. I know you have to, to listen to or find out about the other classes too. So if you have any questions or concerns, um, the best way to reach me is through my email and that's my email there. Uh, you can also just find it on the Coco Spa website as well. But I hope that gives you a little more information as far as the instrumental department and I look forward to continuing to work with these incredible students.